In this video, I'm going to reset a password to a user that I've completely forgotten the password to. Uh, this is a Ubuntu operating system, and when we're presented with a login screen, I can see my user, but let's just say I completely forgot the password altogether. What options do I have? What I'm going to need to do is go ahead and restart my computer, and I need to boot into the recovery mode. So in order for this to happen, I'm in a virtual machine for this application, and when I restart my computer, I don't actually see the Grub bootloader. So what I'm going to need to do is actually hold the shift key down once I um, get past the virtual machine splash screen and actually uh, have a black screen. I want to hold the shift key down. So I'm going to do a start, restart, and you can see the machine is shutting down now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and press the shift key now, and there it is. So you have to catch it kind of at the right moment there for it to work. I believe any key works. I'm using the shift key because it is the safe key to use for the startup. But now I've got the Grub um, bootloader menu available. And if you take a look, I can see that the second one option I have is the recovery mode. This is the option I want to choose. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. And we'll wait for our operating system to load up. And now we're presented with a recovery menu. So if we go ahead and scroll down, the last option is the uh, drop to root shell prompt. And this is going to give us a prompt that we can use to actually reset the password. And we'll be the root user. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And look there at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that there is the prompt. It says root at, and then of course my computer name. So this is currently the root user. Now the command that we want to type in is PASSWD space and then the name of the actual user. And then we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And it says enter a new Unix password. And my password has been updated. Now if you do not know what users are currently on your computer, or let's just say you forget the actual username, we can find that in the PASSWD file. And so the pass, the command and the file are the same name. So let me go ahead and show you where you would find that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a CD. And I'm going to go ahead and hit space and then the forward slash and hit enter. That takes us to the root of our file system. Just do a quick ls command and you should see the Etsy folder, ETC. That's the folder we want to go in. So I'm going to go ahead and do CD space Etsy and hit enter. Do an LS command again. And within this files, set of files, you see the PASSWD file. And you can see that that file is uh, located right in the list that you see here. That's the file that I want to see. So what I'm going to want to do is actually read the file. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the cat command and PSSWD. And you can see a list of all the files uh, or all the, the text additions that are to this file. And so if you take a quick look at the very bottom, you can see some of the list. Usually you want to go to the bottom of the file and you can see the lecture snippets is there. There are a couple other users do the software that I've added in. But this is a list of all your users and uh, some of the configuration set up for the user. So I can see the lecture snippets is there and I've already reset the password. I'm just going to do a clear to clear my screen and I reset the password even though I did not know the password for the user account I was able to log into the root menu using the recovery mode and reset the password 